Hi, this is episode six of Movie Review Time. So anyway, <laughs> this is a very special edition, Christmas Eve edition for you. I'm probably going to post one tomorrow night too. Both Christmas movies that I love. First of all, I have a real treat for you. I went on imdb.com. IMDb stands for International Movie Database. Anyway, I looked up the first five videos that I did reviews on and got their budgets and how much they made in the box office when they were released. So, in the U.S. and worldwide. So I'm going to share that information with you first. Then we will dive right into the latest edition of Movie Review Time, Christmas Eve. Okay, so, my glasses are crooked anyway. Okay, so, budgets. Number one, cocktail. Budget, estimated budget of that film was $20 million. Opening weekend in the U.S., it only made $11 million. It was released on J July 31st, 1988. It grossed $78 million in the U.S. And worldwide, it grossed $171 million. That's not too bad. Number two, Big Lebowski. The budget was estimated $15 million. Opening weekend in the U.S. It only made $5 million, And that was March 8th of 98. In the U.S., it only grossed about $18 million. Worldwide, it grossed estimated $46 million. This one is the most disappointing. Number three, My New Gun. No budget and no opening weekend. Gross USA and worldwide was only $169,000. Pretty bad. This one's pretty disappointing, too. Number four. Welcome home, Roxy Carmichael. No budget listed. Opening weekend, it only made $1.7 million, and that was October 14th of 1990. Worldwide gross and U.S. gross total, $3.9 million. So that's not real good. Okay, The Burbs, number five. Budget estimated $18 million. Opening weekend in the U.S., $11 million. Gross USA, $36 million. And worldwide gross, $49 million. So that's not terrible. Cocktail definitely did the best. My New Gun did the worst. Welcome Home, Roxy Car Carmichael was the second worst. And then The Burbs was the next. And then Big Lebowski. Okay. So... Today's Christmas Eve edition of Movie Review Time, episode number six, is one of my favorite movies. Mom and I went to see it on Mother's Day weekend when it was released in theaters. Why it was released around Mother's Day when it's a Christmas movie, I do not know. But it was one of my favorites. Always has been. Always will be. While you were sleeping. This stars. Sandra Bullock. Bill Pullman. Peter Gallagher. Peter Boyle. Glennis Johns. Jack Warden. And many others. This is a really good film. Okay so. This has some of the best one liners in it. Of any movie besides The Big Lebowski. Okay, this introduces the world to Joe Fusco Jr., who is, his father owns the building that Sandra Bullock lives in, and Joe Jr. is hilarious. He tries on Sandra Bullock's shoes in her closet. He buys her a wreath. <laughs> he... helps her try to fix her window when she drags it upstairs through her 
through the outside and then and then it busts and I don't know. Anyway, so Sandra Bullock works in the token booth at the subway in Chicago. Well, I guess it's not really the subway. It's like the elevated train. But anyway, that's where she works. She's a token person in the booth. So she sees Peter Gallagher get pushed onto the tracks. She rolls, gets on the tracks and saves his life. He ends up in a coma. They think she's his fiance. Then she meets his brother, played by Bill Pullman, falls in love, and they end up getting married at the end. But Peter Gallagher's family is hilarious. Sandra Bullock has no family because they're all dead. So they kind of adopt her, and it is just hilarious. So Joe Jr. tells Bill Pullman that he knows karate. He tells Sandra Bullock that he's got tickets to the ice capades because he knows a guy. <laughs> Make sure that Sandra Bullock's okay because Bill Pullman is leaning. And <laughs> like I said, she finds him in her closet trying on her shoes one day. Then it's just funny. So if you have not seen this film, you would want to see it because it's very funny, very humorous, and it's good. Okay, so I'm going to read you the back of the film. Then I'm going to read you the IMDb information. So, you'll fall in love with While You Were Sleeping, the hit romantic comedy that woke everybody, everyone up to adorable Sandra Bullock from speed and miscongeniality. As Lucy, a lonely subway worker, she becomes smitten with a handsome stranger, Peter Gallagher, from TV's The O.C. But when she saves his life after he's been mugged and fallen into a coma, his hilariously offbeat family mix mistakes her for his fiance. Soon the mix-ups escalate as Lucy fabricates a life between herself and a man she's never met. And when Lucy falls for his charming brother, Bill Pullman, from Independence Day, the situation really gets uproarious and she's forced to make a choice between the two. Okay, so... The description on IMDb, a hopelessly romantic Chicago Transit Authority token collector is mistaken for the fiancé of a coma patient. The budget for this film was estimated $17 million. Opening weekend in the U.S., it made $9 million, and that was April 23, 1995. It grossed $81 million in the U.S. and $182 million worldwide. So, by far, this one is the winner of the budget contest and the how much it made in the box office. The review gave it 10 out of 10 stars by I-S-E-V-A-N-T-O. I guess that's Isavanto or I don't know. Anyway, that was January 25th of 03. Title of the review, Adopt This Family. Next time you are depressed, this is the perfect pick-me-up. If you like watching the same movies over and over, this is great for that also. The chemistry between the two main characters is outstanding, much better than in this year's two weeks notice. Laugh out loud and cry out loud. So there you go. There is that. I hope you liked this review. And I highly recommend the movie While You Were Sleeping. It is a good, funny, hilarious, romantic comedy for all ages. Amen.